It's been a Georgia staple for many decades. Former President Jimmy Carter teaching Sunday school at his home church in Plains, Georgia. His home church has about 30 members, but as many as 450 people will attend when President Carter teaches. A few things to factor into Mr. Carter, perhaps stepping aside. Of course, the pandemic means there's a need to social distance, and the nation's longest living president turns 96 this fall. So are his teaching days a thing of the past? Jeff Hollinger had a chance to spend some time with the Carter family this week. Jeff, I'm sure former President Carter has taught about for every time there is a season. Right. It's hard to imagine this season shifting after, after so long, and this was such a vital part of his life and such a staple in that community. Hey, hey look, Cheryl, he has surprised us all through his life. So never underestimate his ability to come back, but given COVID, given the fact that we do not have a vaccine, nor do we have a, a very effective treatment at this point, and you couple that with the fact of his advancing age, and we saw pictures of him on Wednesday that we shared with you, the first time that we've seen, uh, we've seen him in uh, toward a year. So, uh, you know, this has been such a staple in, in our state, so important to so many people. We almost take him for granted. For 40 years, you could go down to Plains, and you could sit in those little pews there and you could listen to him talk about the Bible that means so much to him and the Christian way of life. And uh, the thought of him not being active, the thought of him not teaching on Sunday is something that none of us want to give up. I had the opportunity to be there five years ago after the cancer diagnosis from Emory University. And I must tell you, Cheryl, it's one of the most searing memories of my adult life. It's something I'll never forget. I'm so grateful that uh, mm. I was sent to cover that story, uh, to see him, to sit near uh, Rosalind. Uh, it, it was an extraordinary moment. And, and coming up at six, we're gonna share some of the video from that, as well as there was a, a youth band, a junior high band, very diverse, playing an off-key version of Georgia On My Mind. I gotta tell you, as I was writing the story and looking at that oh. video, it choked me up today as much as it did five years ago. You know, Jimmy Carter, politics aside, is a life force of which we will never see again in this state or this country. Really looking forward to seeing more at six. I'm so glad you got to go to Plains again. Jeff, thanks.